if you're new, hi, welcome, my name is Camilla Elizabeth. I think it's like the very first one that we do um, that is more of like a sit down, talk, chit chat type of video. I'm very, very excited. Um, I hope it will be useful. What I want to share with you in this video is just some tips for how to be uh, successful basically in university. I'm going to share with you four tips, four things that I realized make um, my university experience, uh, you know, pleasurable and just keep me on track. I'm not saying that, you know, I master all of these things. I do find that these are things that, yeah, make me feel um, like I'm on track with my studies. One more week and I'm finished with my second year of political science bachelor so yeah let's just get to it tip number one is organization dun, dun, dun. and i know i mean if you've been following maybe some of my other videos or if you know me as a person you know that i am rather organized um but um i do really really think that it's something that can help you a lot is planning ahead basically and it's something that all of these things that i'm going to share with you come with practice so on sundays what i do is i um yeah just plan how my week is going to go um i put in everything from the readings that i'm going to do to other you know like hanging out with friends or like if i have a coffee date or whatever i put everything down um because in that way if you have you know if you write things down and you actually plan them um, it's just easier for you to keep accountable of the things you do and you don't so this has been my best friend this academic year every week i just basically write down all of the things that i need to do and when so all of the readings if i have maybe like uh, other meetings other things that i do and yeah, then I just highlight them off whenever I've done them and it just gives me like a good adrenaline rush and it makes me feel like I'm on top of my things and of course you can do it on your phone, you can do it on your laptop, whatever but I find that having an actual physical one and you can buy, you know, cute ones and like make it pretty inside if you want uh, I usually don't have too much time for that so mine is a bit messy as you can see but you know, not the point. Point is, um, it will help you to be and stay organized and to do things on time, to do your readings on time, so it doesn't just pile up uh, by the end of the week. Then number two is study, study, study strategy and and um, obviously everybody's different um, and everybody's study strategies why do i have such issues with this are quite different as well i would suggest that you focus on three things which are where what and when so where is it that you're the most efficient where is it that you get the least distracted um so for example is it a library is it a cafe is it your room is it your living room whatever it might be but it also is important to think about the what. So what is it that you study where? So these two, where and what in combination. So for me, for example, when I have to study for an exam, then I like to go to the library because I know that everybody else is really studying intensively and I will not get um, as distracted as I would if I was maybe in my bedroom or whatever. Um, if I have to do assignments, if I have to do some reading, then I am able to do them maybe within my living room, at home, or wherever, uh, you know, drinking a coffee. When? So when is it that you're the most efficient? So for me, doing things in the morning um, helps me a lot. I know that I get quite tired around like 2, 3, um, so that I know that after like 6 p.m. I don't really function well anymore so I plan when I plan to do things I plan all of my study uh, stuff during the day so that I know that I will be actually studying properly and efficiently I also know people that for example I've got loads of friends who um, actually study very well in the evening or like towards the night so the where you study combined with what you study where and at what time Number three, and probably the most important one uh, for me personally, oh my god, okay, 
is balance. That's something that I still haven't like mastered completely because I tend to very often overwork myself um, and not have much balance to be honest. But that's something that I really strive for and I think it's always something that we should already strive for because that way we get to do everything that we enjoy and still be sane basically and not you know um, get super stressed it kind of goes back to the idea of being organized and putting everything that you have or your side hustles and stuff in your week um, planning because that way you kind of get the time that you need to study and study hard and study efficiently and study well whilst at the same time also balancing balancing that with going out seeing your friends exercising doing a side hustle being creative whatever it might be that it brings you like more joy and it brings you just also a different kind of positivity uh, to that that your degree gives you i've been trying to learn how to say yes and say no to certain things uh, to try and really keep uh, this this balance between my academic life that obviously as a student when it's a full-time degree many things are kind of centered around it and for sure i felt like that in my first year uh, especially but i think now i kind of got the handle of how to balance my social life my friendships uh, my exercising uh, and of course still do well in my courses number four is taking advantage of opportunity in your university go out and see you know be part of committees be part of councils uh, be part of um, organization maybe that your university has of, of study associations of all of these things that might really be um, a place for you to meet new people and expand you know the your your network within your institution which is super 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 important but also for example push your boundaries a little bit it can be uncomfortable um, to you know especially maybe if your friends um, you know are satisfied with you know the people they know and the things they do and the degree of their involvement don't be afraid to go out there and still um, seek whatever it is that you th you feel like you need and non-academically as well take advantage of the opportunities that your city maybe your campus uh, gives you of i don't know is it a music festival is it the art scene is it uh, the coffee scene you don't want to regret not doing things when you are young and fresh and like full of energy these were my four tips we said staying organized uh, both um, in terms of your social life, but also academically, of course. Uh, we also said um, finding your study strategy, what works for you and sticking to it. And then we said trying to find the balance between your academics, your social life, your health, everything. Um, and number four, take advantage of opportunities that you might be offered uh, throughout your university time. Um, I hope these things helped you. Of course, these are things that I realized uh, that have been helping me and keep staying on track and enjoying your degree as well. And please push that like button as well. It really helps us. Please let me know if you have other uh, tips um, as well. I'm sure they can be super beneficial for me and for everybody else who watches this video. Big hug and I'll see you next video.